So, Anneli, where are we today? Andreas, we are in Benalmadena. We are ready. Where is the best place to live? And there's a reason to why we're here today. Someone actually answered that question for us. Exactly. But is yeah. it now that you're mentioning the, the second, yeah. the third? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's the magazine International Living that have recently ranked the five best places to live in the whole of Spain. And surprise, surprise, the top two places are located here on Costa del Sol. We'll start from uh, place number five. It's Miraflores de la Sierra. It's a small mountain village just outside of Madrid. Number four is Sitges, outside of Barcelona. Number three is Almuñeca, mm -hmm. uh, also here on the south coast of Spain, but on Costa Tropical. And then we have place number two is Mijas Pueblo. And Mijas, we have spoken about a lot in other videos. Yeah, yeah. it's also called the White Village, right? Yeah, Mijas yeah. Pueblo itself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now to the top spot voted by International Living, best place to live in the whole of Spain. Drum roll, tell us, Andrea. Du, 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 du. Which one? Ben Almarana. Ben Almarana. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a reason. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is fantastic. Just look at where we are now. Yeah, it's, oh, it's very, perfect. very nice. It's perfect. Yeah. And there's a reason that Ben Almarana is the best place to live. Yeah, what do they say in the article? What They're do they saying mention? in the article that there's a lot of different things to do here. Yeah. We have a lot of green parks here. Mm -hmm. We have some very good beaches as well. Yeah. And, actually, and the location. And the location, yeah, between we have we are close to the center of Malaga and we are close to the luxury lifestyle in Marbella yeah. and Porto Banus. Yeah. And Anneli actually chose to live here yourself with your family. I did. Me yeah. and my family we chose to live here uh, since nearly six years ago and we absolutely love it. And as Andreas is saying, it's a lot of different areas to Ben Almadena. We chose the small Spanish authentically quiet village of Ben Almadena Pueblo. And um, here we are now is in Torremoella, and that's where Per, Mr. Mo, chose to live, just up that hill there in Sugar, Sugar Hill. hill. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, not for sale his house, but it was very, very nice. Yeah, it is very yeah. nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of other people from many different countries have chosen to live in Ben uh, Did you know that out of a population of nearly 70,000 people, over 30% are foreigners? Yeah, that's quite a lot. Thirty percent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's mainly other Europeans, but yeah. there are actually nationalities from 120 different countries represented here, oh. and that I think adds to this fantastic international vibe that yeah. we have here in Ben Yeah, and that's some of the advantages here. Yeah. You can meet so many people with a lot of different backgrounds and from different countries and cultures. And yeah, it's even a Danish school. And Danish school, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. and, a, and a lot like of uh, international, yeah. uh, international schools. We so. are in Penalmada <laughs> now. Should we start again from the top? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll get my shit together now. No worries. Okay. So, Anneli, where are we today? So, now we're going to take you to a lot of different places here in Ben Almerna, which we like, right? Yeah, some of our favorite places. And we're going to start by going down to La Cubana, which you, uh, you can nearly see from here. Um, it's just on the border to Juan Carola. Yeah. And then we are going to Trocadero, which is a little bit more to, uh, to that end. Okay, so now we're going down to uh, the beach bar La Cubana. And how do we find it, Andreas? It's very easy. Just look where we are. The Mojo roundabout. And you just go down the stairs and to the right on the beach. And then you are at La, La Cubana. Cubana. Wow, look at and the colors. And here we have it. Yeah. Look at the colors. It's so beautiful. It's a fantastic spot. It's quite, it's quite similar with the colors for, compared to where you went with Elizabeth on the video you did. But what can you get for one million? Some extra energy. In a gecko. Yes. It's the same kind of Cuban style. Yeah, it is. Very colorful. Whenever you want some extra energy, extra you want to feel energy. good, you should come to La Cubana and yeah. come to this beach. Yeah. So we're on Carvajal Beach, just on the border between Ben Almadena and yeah, and then we have the Higuan Beach Club here as well, right? Yeah, which is just over here. And yeah. we, we're uh, going to take a closer look there because as you know, when you buy a property in Higuan, you get one year free membership at uh, the beach club as well. Yeah. We walk in too far, so... <laughs> yeah, I can see you. <laughs> just getting ready for the day. Yeah, just starting. 
ya es 15 minutos, estamos ¿Sí? listos. Y okay. la piscina está lista en... creo que ya, ¿vale? Ok, muy bien. Ok, okay gracias. Nada. Yeah, it looks really classy, I think. So we're standing in Higuron Beach Club now, just over there, but this area also belongs to Higuron Beach Club. Okay, okay. Oh, we could sit here all day. Yeah, we could. We yeah, could. it would but be nice. But we're working hard, Emily, so we have, yeah, to, we have, we to, have get, to move on. Yeah, <laughs> we have to move on. Yeah, where so are we going now? Now we're going to a restaurant called Trocadeo, yeah. which is one of our favorite restaurants here in Benalmadena. Yeah. Hola. ¿Estás abierto o no? Todavía no. Dos y media. Oh, vale, ok. We so, are in a different area of Benamara now, called Nueva Torre Quebrada. Yeah? Yes, and we are right in front of Trocadero, one of our favorite, favorite places. What's happening? Well, we're in Trocadero, but it's closed. But they let us in anyway, it's nice. They let us in anyway, so you just show them all your business card and they were just like, okay, just come, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. So the restaurant downstairs shuts down at around midnight, would you say that? Yeah, and yeah? then you can come up here for, for cocktails. And dancing. And dancing, that's yeah. important. That's important. <laughs> yeah. The cocktails are important. And very often we have live music up here. And it's yeah. a really good vibe. You can dance anywhere, Andreas. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know all the places to dance. <laughs> and Annalie, just tell us a little bit, what do you like about Nueva Torre Quebrada? Well, Nueva Torre Quebrada is it's quite residential. There's an um, international school just off the road here. My kids actually went to school there when, uh, when we first moved here six years ago. And... Um, I like the, the vibe down here with these small, small beaches and uh, some really good, uh, good restaurants, as you can see. Yeah. And you have and the golf course as well. And the golf course, one yeah, of the best. The golf course. Yeah. Along the coast. Yeah, and it's beautiful there. Yes. And you can play golf. No, I can't. So there's a lot of different areas here in Benalmadena. Ah, yeah, we're yeah. now in Torre Quebrada. We were earlier in Nueva Torre Quebrada and we were in Torre Muelle. Uh, we've spoken to, we've spoken about Benalmadena Pueblo. It's important to know the difference between the areas in Benalmadena because each area has their own style and their own charming atmosphere around Yeah, and they're very different and very they have different. their pros and, and cons. And yeah. That's what we can help you with, uh, not just finding the right property, but also finding the right area for your needs and for what you like. Yeah, because when you buy a property here in Spain, you don't just buy so we, the property, uh, but you're buying into the area as well. We have been to the golf course and uh, now we are at Parque Paloma. Yeah, we are here because it's mentioned in the article as well. Yes. And we want to show that Benalmadena has a lot of family-friendly areas as well. It's a nice place to stand. Yeah, it is. And as you can see, it's really beautiful. It has a lake here, it has a couple of cafes, a couple of playgrounds, and uh, lots of nice areas you can walk around and just enjoy. You can go for a picnic on Sundays, you see a lot of families uh, are sitting around here, and it's a nice atmosphere. Uh, and there's a lot to do for, for families here. We're just next to Selvo Marina, where they have lots of uh, animals. And uh, not far from here is the, uh, the cable car going up to the top of the mountain, where you can see a nice bird show and uh, have beautiful scenery over the whole of Benalmadena. Yeah. As you know, we've been seeing some very beautiful places today. Yeah. And uh, we can help you find a place to live here, uh, to buy a holiday home or a more permanent home. We have access to everything that is on the market uh, and we know this area very well, don't we? It's important to mention that it won't cost the clients anything extra. No, nothing extra. We no. just give you a lot of things for free with the 360 package that we yeah. offer. We have over 50 services that we can help you with. Things that you might not think about when you look for a property, but that are very important once you get the keys. We don't just leave you there, we are with you. So guys, if you want to know more about the area in Benalmadena or buy a property here, or considering buying a property here, just contact on us this phone number here down below. Yeah, and as you know, you should uh, Click on the subscribe buttons for YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Follow us everywhere and you can also write to us on the, on the emails listed here.